Hello everyone, welcome to Sunya IS and this is your what to read and how to read video for prelims revision program also called as the Sunya Super 50 batch and in this video we are going to talk about that what you have to read for science test number one. Alright, so let's begin. Uh, if we talk about this test, this test is with respect to the basics of science and technology and I would suggest that uh, in your textbooks of NCRT that is of 11th and 12th standard a lot is mentioned which at all is not required for our purpose I'm mentioning the topics which you have to cherry pick and do from those NCRTs alright so you have to start uh, with the difference between the plants and in the animal cells do all the organelles what are their functions which are the organelles we find in the plant cell which are the organelles which we find in the animal cells which are absent in the animal cell this and that and then uh, do have a one liner of with respect to the uh, function they are performing all right then we'll be moving on to the structure of the cell then you have to do what are the difference between eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells and isme you have to do the examples as well that which are the organisms where we find the prokaryotic cells and which are the organisms where we find the prokaryotic cells then you have to move to the nucleus and nucleus you have to do the structure of nucleus and the components of nucleus because that will become handy to you when we'll be doing the process of gene expression okay or the process by uh, by which our genes get expressed into proteins and then our whole body is formed all right then you have to move on to the nucleo uh, assets that are the DNA or and the RNA dono mein difference kar lijega. what is the difference between both of them on which organelles DNA is present in which organelles the RNA is present all these things then you have to move on to the concept of chromosomes chromosome may you have to do uh, two things basically what is the difference between allosomes and autosomes and then you have to move on that what is the concept of this homologous pair heterologous pair and non-homologous pair okay so that is important for our examination perspective then you have to do the concept of chromosomal aberrations this means jitne bhi uh, the diseases or the consequences which we have because of the chromosomal aberrations that you have to do then you have to do the autosomal aberrations then you have to do the concept of ploid okay then uske baad, uh, in human cells we have uh, the cells are divided uh, on uh, on the uh, on different basis with respect to the functions they can perform so we have to do the difference between somatic cell and a stem cell and then you have to link this somatic cell with the concept of the genetic transfer or the gene transfer all right then if we talk about the stem cells there you have to do the types of stem cells you have to then do the types of stem cells based on their potency like uh, totipotent pluripotent all right and then you have to do the use of stem cells Usme uh, stem cells do play a very important role when we are talking about the organ transplantation that what kind of stem cells are there that can be made into different organs which humans need to do this concept then you have to do and do the concept of induced pluripotent cells uh, Isme just see that which are the cells which can be induced so that they can be do the uh, do they can become the pluripotent cells for an example uh abhi abhi they have uh, uh, the, the news which is associated with it is that uh, recently uh, uh, the the organ transplant has been done from a pig to, to towards an animal okay so such concepts are not to be done for the purpose of this class in this you should know that what is the concept of induced pluripotent cells how the pluripotent cells can be induced and from which cells they can be induced that's it for this class let's rest uh, the current affairs news and how uh, this this uh, scientific knowledge is going to develop into technology we'll be referring to the next class then here 15th you have to do the stages of reproduction sorry i missed it so stages of reproduction then you have to do the concept of twins uh, following moving on to the concept of cloning cloning maybe just to how the cloning will be done the different types of cloning in humans in sheep, in buffaloes that will be referred to the next class so then we have to do the infertility and the technological solutions for it for an example what is test to baby embryo transfer technology surrogacy artificial insemination insemination and biobag and moving on to that how this artificial uh, fertilization will be helping us uh, in, in in this field of biodiversity conservation all right then a uh, few another uh, concepts are there this this is the particular chapter in your ncrt named as health and diseases and this is bio biotechnology the the process and all okay so in this health and all you have to do infectious versus non-infectious diseases just a concept then typhoid is mentioned do vital test also followed by pneumonia then uh, do the common cold malaria amoebiosis ascariasis elephantiasis ringworms then the type of immunity has been mentioned over there okay uh, if you talk about uh, this may barriers kar lena, like barriers char tarah ke mentioned ncrt may do the barriers concept and then we have uh, the uh, difference clearly mentioned with respect to the acquired immunity versus innate immunity okay and then in the process of immunity we have two kind of cells called as t lymphocytes and b lymphocytes do the difference between them rest how they do they they perform the function during the secondary immunity or the primary immunity phase 
or the primary response or the secondary response this will be doing in the next class then do the vaccination and immunization allergies autoimmune diseases the concept of aids cancer acha aids me the whatever the process or whatever the disease or the treatment or the tests are mentioned with respect to aids in ncert just do that for tomorrow's test the rest whatever initiatives we have for an example project ahana we have we have red ribbon express we have this project sunrise for the north east regions aid aid development and all ha huh? and we have this uh, organized at the national level or the international initiatives that will be dealing with within the next class all right then a uh, few other things like drugs and alcohol abuse is mentioned under drug uh, the the plants like poppy the concept of opium etc is mentioned so do read them from the ncert then with respect to this chapter that is the biotechnology processes you have to do the principles of biotechnology in this clearly it has been mentioned that what is a restriction enzymes what are nuclease what is ligase so i need you to be very thorough with this with, with these uh, basic concepts in the uh, tomorrow uh, in the tomorrow's class and then in the day after tomorrow's class we'll be defining uh, we'll be derive driving the concepts from this enzymes and all theek hai ji then you have to do the concept of cloning vectors followed by recombinant dna technology and rna reinterference technology this is all for tomorrow's test and i really hope that uh, this program is going uh, good for you guys uh, do comment below the video that uh, if you need any improvisations and all thank you so much all the very best for tomorrow's test